Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. My dear people of God, Candy Chang was depressed and suffering from grief. She had just lost someone very close to her, someone that she considered a role model, someone as close to her who acted in the role of her mother. She was very sad and having a difficult time grieving such a situation. She was a very educated woman. She was an artist. She graduated from Columbia University with a master's degree in urban planning. Her undergraduate degree was from Michigan in architecture as well as visual design. But she was an artist. And what she did is she went around and looked at buildings and tried to place them and make them better. She wanted to make her calling, her vocation, dealing with public space to make communities look better. And as she was going through this situation, feeling very sad and down, it was a turning point in her life where she was really questioning, what is it all about? And in her hometown of New Orleans, there was this dilapidated old building. And she looked at it abandoned and she said something could be better. And she decided to take her talents and skills and went to the building and made a art project out of it and decided to clean it up. And on the top of it, she wrote the words, before I die. And throughout the thing, she made it essentially a chalkboard and everyone could come in and write the response. Before I die, I want to, with a blank line. And she had the whole periphery of the building with that phrase for people to write in and chalk. Much to her pleasant surprise, she returned and found just about the entire building filled out with answers, with the completion of the phrase. Before I die, I want to dot, dot, dot. How would you fill in that phrase? Before I die, what do you want to do? And some of the answers were funny, they were comical, but most were quite serious. Before I die, I want to see my parents one more time. Before I die, I want to sing to a hundred people. Before I die, I want to plant a tree. Before I die, I want to live out my childhood dreams. Before I die. It was such an overwhelming project and it touched the hearts of so many people and it put everyone in perspective of where they were at that point. Before I die, things are in perspective when you face death or ask yourself that question. And this project was so popular, Before I Die, the movement, that it went on to be placed on 5,000 different walls throughout the world. In 75 different countries, this project took place. And people would say what they wanted to do. Before I die, I want to do this. Now I'm certain because this was after the fact, but years and years ago at the ports at uh, the Sea of Galilee in Capernaum, I'm sure there was no before I die wall that you could pencil in your last intentions to do. But there we were, there we were with two sets of brothers that Jesus shows up and all of a sudden things are put into perspective. Before I die, what's really important? And without any response, any debate, without any discussion that we hear about, immediately these four individuals, these fishermen, decide what they're going to do and respond to Jesus. Before they die, 
they are going to follow Jesus and be his disciples. A turning moment, putting things in perspective, deciding what's important. And one of the most difficult things that we can ever do is to reach that decision, a decision that's so hard to make. Before I die, will you follow Jesus? Dietrich Bonhoeffer, who lost his life from Adolf Hitler, famously said, when Christ calls a person, he calls that person to come and die. The ultimate cost of discipleship. Are we willing to die and follow Christ? Today is a day that maybe we should complete that line. Before I die, I want to. I want to follow Jesus. I want to put things in perspective. I want to understand what's truly important in my daily life. What am I living for? What is my vocation? What is my family and relationals, relationships that I have? Jesus awakened those disciples to a new sense of meaning, a new purpose in life. Will you accept Jesus' call? Accept a new sense of meaning, a new sense of purpose in life. Ask yourselves, before I die, I want to fill in the blanks. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of God which surpasses all our understanding, keep our hearts and minds in true faith through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.